Hello, this is Tony Heller from Visitech.ai. In this short video, I'm going to show you how you can quickly learn about the weather history of a single location. We're going to start by going to app.visitech.ai. For this video, we're going to look at the weather history of Bloomington, Indiana. I'm going to select Indiana, and now I'm going to select Bloomington. What we're seeing now are all 45,585 daily maximum temperatures recorded at Bloomington, Indiana. Let's take a look at all the days over 100 degrees recorded at Bloomington. I'm going to enter 100 for the minimum Y. Now I'm going to enter 110 for the maximum Y. We can see that Bloomington has had 154 days over 100 degrees. We can also see that most of those 100 degree days occurred before 1960 and that the hottest day in Bloomington was July 14, 1936 when they reached 110 degrees. The last 100 degree day in Bloomington was July 8, 2012 when they reached 104 degrees. Now I'm going to reset the zoom so that we're looking at all of the data for Bloomington. I'm going to enter a title for this graph by copying and pasting from here. Now I'm going to take a screenshot and I will explain in a minute why I did that. It's easier to understand this data if we graph it by year, so I'm going to click on the microphone button. Graph by year. It's pretty likely that this minus 65 degree temperature on December 13, 1927 is a bogus reading in the NOAA database. So I'm going to zoom down a little bit by holding the mouse cursor at the top, pressing the V key, and turning the scroll wheel. Now we're looking at all of the daily maximum temperatures recorded at Bloomington since 1895. I'm going to click on the hottest temperature up here now. Once again, the hottest temperature recorded at Bloomington, Indiana was 110 degrees on July 15, 1936. February 1936 was record cold at Bloomington, and July 1936 was record hot. They also had several other very bad heat waves that year. Now let's click on this 109 degree temperature on July 28, 1930. 1930 was a very hot year in Indiana too with a number of historic heat waves, and the average temperature that year was about 2 degrees above the Bloomington average. We can look at the individual years by hovering over them on the right side. The red line is the year 1900. Now we're going to look at the year 1901 by pressing the down arrow key on the keyboard. You can see that 1901 had some very cold weather and some very hot weather during July. You can scan through the years to find something interesting by pressing the down arrow key or the up arrow key. We're looking at the year 1921 now was interesting because of the persistent warmth. The average temperature was about 4 degrees above normal. We're going to look at one more thing in this video, but I have to press the reset button. When we took this screenshot earlier, we created a file called Bloomington Indiana University Delta. I'm going to drag that onto the window now. Now we're looking at the day-to-day -day change in temperature for every day in the Bloomington record. I'm going to set the maximum temperature to zero, and I'll explain why in a minute. Now I'm going to zoom down by holding the mouse cursor at the top, pressing the V key on the keyboard, and turning the scroll wheel. On January 20th, 1996, the maximum temperature at Bloomington was 52 degrees lower than the prior day. You can see from this graph that cold fronts at Bloomington tended to be less intense throughout 1920 through the 1960s. But beginning around 1970, Bloomington started seeing much larger drops in temperature when cold fronts passed through. For whatever reason, cold fronts at Bloomington, Indiana were less frequent and less intense throughout 1920 through the 1960s. We're just scratching the surface of what you can do with this tool, but I hope you learned something useful here today. If you want to get started using these capabilities, go to app.visitech.ai and please subscribe to this YouTube channel as well.